Hello YouTube and welcome to Hidden Hacks. Today we are going to use the PHS C++ header from the Tone Melody example in the Arduino IDE. Do some super simple coding, add a speaker module, upload the code to an Arduino Uno board, and play some music or tones. And just like on my other Arduino projects, all the necessary links will be provided on the description down below. Let's go! So, I was lurking around YouTube and I saw this remix by Party in Backyard called Bananas in My Room and got inspired to do something fun, quick, and easy using the things that I have in my desk drawers. I will be using an Arduino Uno because I only need 6 analog inputs. You can use an Arduino Mega if you need more analog inputs for your project though. A breadboard, a bunch of alligator clips, a bunch of male to male jumper cables, a bunch of 1M ohm or 1 mega ohm resistors. This is an 8 ohm speaker module with just enough size and power for this project. And last but not the least, the data cable. Now, to test the speaker module, let's open up the IDE. Click File, Examples, Digital, and Tone Melody. Then, connect the speaker to digital pin 8. The link for the diagram or schematic will also be in the description down below. This is the speaker module. Let's hook it up. Get some jumper cables. The ground is going to be the blue one. The VCC or 5 volts is the red one and the data is the yellow wire. Connect the data wire to digital pin 8. Then, 5 volts to 5 volts and ground to ground. Now, let's connect the MCU to the computer. Then, click on Tools, Board, then click Arduino Uno and find the correct port. Mine is COM7. Then, click on Upload. Uploading. There you go. Let's uh, hear that again. Press Reset. After that, we're going to change these things right here for us to be able to play other tone melodies. We're going to make these things 16 counts for our 16 notes. This number is the digital pin 8 connection. But, of course, we need the notes. You can use other tone melodies if you want to. I will use the one I already have here. And to make things more easier, I will open up my FL Studio. You don't need one though, you can just copy some notes on some websites. I will use the notes on this track. So, we're going to need F sharp 5, G sharp 5, A5, D5, C sharp 5, C sharp 5, and uh, E5. Okay, so these are 6 notes. Just enough for our 6 analog inputs. Let's listen to it first though. go. Now that we have the notes that we need, click on pitches.h and find the values equivalent for the notes that we have. So, F sharp 5 is note underscore FS5. Then, copy all the values that we need. Just like this. 
Now that we have the equivalent notes, we're going to replace these things right here with ones we have and arrange them accordingly to play a melody or pattern. I'm going to need 16 counts of the 6 notes that I have here. It really depends on the song or melody you would use. Double check everything. The melody count should match the duration count. Now let's upload the code. There you go. To make it a little longer, let's copy and paste the 16 notes to make it 32 notes. Don't forget to copy and paste the duration too. And make the one on the void setup also 32. Alright! Okay, so now we're going to create a new project. Open the IDE, click File, Save As, and name the file. Then click on Save. Then click on File again, Examples, Digital, Tone Melody, click the Pitches tab and copy its contents. Now click on the drop down arrow and click New Tab. Rename the tab to Pitches.h. The .h extension is important for the IDE to recognize it as a C++ header. Click on OK, paste the contents here, then on the void setup, add pin mode, open parentheses, then add 8 comma space output, then close parentheses and add a semicolon after that. The number 8 is the digital pin 8 where the speaker module is connected and we declared it as an output. On the void loop, we're going to make an if statement. So, type if, add open parenthesis again, and add analog read followed by another open parenthesis and add A0. A0 is the first analog input pin on the Arduino where our first alligator clip will be connected and where the first tone will be stored. Then add a close parenthesis and add a space and add the greater than symbol followed by another space and a value of 1000 then close parenthesis. The number 1000 represents the value or threshold of the analog read. That means the speaker will only be activated if the threshold of 1000 is reached. Then add another space, after that add a curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket, add tone followed by another open parenthesis and add 8, followed by the comma and a space and the note value for the tone. We need those values, so that when we activate the analog inputs, they will call the value in the pitches header and output the tone or pitch value using the speaker. To get those, click on the pitches.h tab and copy the equivalent values of our notes. So, on note underscore ffs5, the equivalent value is 740. Then, enter the rest of the remaining notes. After that, paste the value of our first note for the first analog input pin. Add the 740 beside this one. Add a comma and a space after it. Then, add 100 followed by a close parenthesis and a semicolon. The 100 is the duration of the note. Or tone. We can change it depending on how long we want to hear the tone. In this case, it is 100 milliseconds. Then add delay, open parenthesis, and add a value of 10 milliseconds followed by a close parenthesis and a semicolon. Then copy your if statement and paste it depending on how many analog inputs you will use. I will be using 6 analog inputs, so I will paste it 6 times and just change the input number and tone value. Now, click on this one to verify and see if we need to change something. And that's it. Coding is done. Pretty easy, right? Next step is assembly. 
Now get the breadboard and the jumper cables. I will use 6 pieces for the 6 analog inputs, A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. Connect them to the breadboard, A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5, just like this. Now we're going to add the resistors. I will use 6 pieces. Let's connect the MCU to the computer to upload our code. Also, this is important. Remember to connect the resistors to ground or this will happen. Now let's try. Let's add some more jumper cables to connect the resistors to ground. Now let's see what will happen. Connect the MCU to the power source again. And hear that? No more alien-like sounds. To be honest, this is already good to go, but it won't be as fun. So after connecting the resistors to ground, let's add the alligator clips. I'm just going to unplug my board so that it won't make sounds while connecting the clips. Again, I will need 6 pieces. A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. Now I'm going to get some paper to use as a placemat. There you go. And for the pièce de résistance. Banana! Six pieces of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Connect them to the breadboard by using the alligator clips. This is for the first analog input, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, yeah. let's connect the MCU to the power source and try it out, shall we? Alrighty, working perfectly so far. Just gonna adjust the speaker volume to make the tones a little louder. There you go. There. Just it a bit louder. There you go. Just it a bit more. Now, let's play a tune. Does this sound familiar? Let's edit the code, because the tone seems like it's ending a bit too fast. Now it's too long. Change it again. There. Perfect. And uh, yeah, that's it. I did my part. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.